Welcome to another edition of the Smart Budget Channel. And today we'll be doing Dollar Tree Flashlight Wars. I picked up four commonly flashlights that you normally would see at the Dollar Tree. At this time, we have two of them that are a plastic base, two of them are aluminum base. Okay, let's start with this one right here. It's claiming to be 100 lumens. It's got one big bulb there, it's LED. All of these take three AAA batteries each. Let's go ahead and throw this beam right here. As you can see, it's a nice focused beam. And I'm doing some throw here, several feet away from me, all the way to the fence line there. Of course, the camera doesn't do it any justice, but that's okay. Up to the tree lines up there and stuff like that. So you have a nice, if you want, a flashlight that has throw. It claims to be 100 lumens. I don't think it's quite 100, but if you do want one that has throw on it, this is it. There's no strobe, no SOS, no nothing on these flashlights. It's just straight light, okay? As you can see, when I point it down, a little bit on that focus beam, point it out there, there you go. Next one here, these both look the same, but they're not. This one's nine LEDs, again, one big LED in this one. This is the one, pros and cons on this one here. As you can see, same thing. Looks like, a, like about 100 lumens, like it's saying. I think it's more like 75, but that's my opinion. This might be a tab brighter than the, the one that we just previously reviewed, but not by much. Again, it's got good throw on it. Okay, it's got focus beam, as you can see right there. But remember, between this one and the other one, this the other one has nine LEDs. This one has one big LED. I've already had to replace this once. If you have an issue with your flashlight, take it back to the Dollar Tree and do an even exchange for one item. So I grabbed the second one. This one seems to be fine. The other one that was malfunctioning, you never saw the video on. It was strobing on its own. Okay, here we go. Super bright, nine LEDs. Take a look at there, see that? Remember, you'll notice the difference in the packaging. These are out of the package already. This one right here, it's got three lines here and nine LEDs. This one's only got one line. All right. You can see this one doesn't have as much of a focus beam as the other two you saw. What this offers is a little bit more um, spotlight type of, of lighting. So as you can see, so it gives you more area and it's not as bright. I mean, it's bright for flood, but it's not bright for throw. So if you, but if you want one that has a more of a flood than throw it has throw you can see the fence line here you know again the camera doesn't do it justice but you can see it just has more of a flooded area than the focus beams okay this one no issues totally reliable again you're looking at something here that takes three AAA batteries it's time to get tactical here so we're gonna go with the tactical telescoping flashlight here LED super bright Adjust for a wider or narrower beam of light. All right. Again, three AAA batteries. All of them have lanyards, your typical crap lanyards. They all have the push buttons on the back. Now, as you can see, we're going to do some comparisons just before I start lighting this up. This one in particular, being more tactical, it has the push button within it doesn't pop out and the reason is for so you don't accidentally turn this on when you don't need to in a tactical situation conducting a building search doing a sweep and clear that kind of stuff so this one right here if you look close pops out just a little bit this one right here it's a little bit in this one right here it's pretty much flush okay so let's take a look at this here this one well, so size comparisons here. As you can see, the telescopic one is bigger than all of them. Okay. All right, let's take a look here. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. It's so tiny. So it tells you how you can get telescopic with it. So, let's see here. Go ahead and turn this on. 
Right, there we go. That's what that looks like. So we can get a downrange shot here. Right, there's your focus beam right there see that that's a good focus beam not bad okay this is this is your telescopic wide spotlight type beam okay so this is your flood mode right here not as bright because it's flooding out but the focus beam is pretty good not too bad it's very focused very focused on that okay i'm going to show you real quick here so you got to twist this to get this to work. You gotta make sure it is closed in. There you go. Show it one more time here. That was flood. There's focus. And there you have it on these. The only problem is it's kind of hard to do this with a one hand function. It's possible, but it's a little tricky on this one. It's more of a two hand function, so I would probably just keep it on the focus beam versus flood. I don't really need flood for what I would use it for. Uh, but it does give you the option to have either or. Okay, so as in batteries, they all last about the same. I got all the batteries from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so that's just the, the batteries right here. Just take these caps off. And then you'll have your little tube that holds the three batteries. You swap them out, put them in, boom, drop it back in, close it up, seals the deal. All right. Overall, since you can't, if you want to have a two-in-one utility for so focus and have a uh, flood, this is gonna be the ideal one right here. Now, if you don't like focus beams, this is gonna be the one you're gonna want. They have different colors, guys, so don't think, oh, it's just black or just green. I just grabbed what was available at the time. But they do come out with red, blue, green, and black, and I think gray, I've seen some gray ones before, so. If I want just, if I'm into floodlights, this is going to be the one I'm going to go for. As in the focus beam, focus only. I'm going to go with this because I felt, I've used this for a year. I felt this was more reliable than this one. Believe it or not, I do believe that this one was more reliable. That's my opinion. So this is going to be last on the list. So focus, definitely this. For flood, definitely this. If I just want to have both worlds and don't want to mess with individual ones, then I'm going to go for the telescopic one. And this one will be the last one on my list. Remember, guys, it's the flood. It has the nine LEDs. The one that's focused is just this one. And this is the one I had problems with before. Like I said, it could have just been a random defect. If you run into that, take it back to the Dollar Tree you bought it from. and says, you know what? I just bought this. Bring your receipt with you. Say, I want to do an even exchange, and they'll give you one. That's their policy. They don't do cash refunds, but they will give you an even exchange for another flashlight. Okay, guys, if you guys have any questions about this, Send them in the comment section below. I'll read them. Reply back to you guys. Again, thank you for tuning in. This is Smart Budget Channel. And for all my returning subscribers, stay smart, stay on budget, and have a wonderful day.